let us look at how to create an account on the future careers bridge and also investigate all the settings that you have to do so that you can be identified as an open university student and also so that your activities will be visible to the industry. So we have the website here as you know we are a new user you are going to create an account so you have to click on new user here and please select creating an account by email because that is a much easier way to do it that means that your information password resets will go to the email so i will enter an email address here we will use the BSC Reg email for this demonstration. Then they want only a first name. Let me put the first name. I, why don't I put BSC here? And we enter a password. So let us uh, enter some password. And I agree to the terms and conditions. So, must contain eight characters, one uppercase, one lowercase. So, we have to do all that properly. All right. So, let us do it as like that. I have added all the requirements. Now, they will send an email to bsc reg at ousl.lk right in this case otherwise they will send an email to whatever email address you have entered there this is to verify your email now we add the bsc reg email and we can see one email from bridge app which is to please verify your email right future careers bridge so confirm email address will take us back to the future careers bridge so now they are asking us to sign in again. So let us sign in again. So we have to use the email address that we entered. And we have to enter the password which I entered, which I hope I can remember now. And uh, perhaps I will add remember me. You can do that if you like. But you have to worry about security. If you are using a shared device, you must not never put the remember me here. And you should not save the password either. But I am saving it. Now you have to complete your personal details. I am not going to do uh, any of some of these things. But you can upload a picture if you want. Now uh, you can upload a picture, but also you have to, you can click on this one. I consent that my profile picture can be shown on the leaderboard. If you do not want your picture to be used, then you can unclick that. Right? You cannot upload a picture also if you don't want to. That's up to you. If you are uploading a picture, please understand this is a professional place. You must upload an appropriate picture. Please do not. Uh, upload a picture of yourself uh, looking uh, in a way that is not suitable for the software industry and do not put any cartoon images or anything like that. Either put a neat photograph of yourself with a good haircut or you can leave it blank. Right? Be extremely careful. It's not like Facebook and other things. You must put an appropriate picture here. Then this is very important. This number you must remember for the future. My public profile URL, right? That's very important. I, we will also be asking you for this number because we want to see how you are doing on the future careers bridge. And with this number, this is already ticked. Keep my profile publicly linked and accessible through the VIP website leaderboard, right? So, if you click on this, your personal information and bridge progress information will be shared publicly. So, uh, we recommend that you keep this clicked because 
we want you to be visible to the companies right so that's why you are on the future careers bridge so but you must understand then that this picture will be visible publicly so if you cannot upload a picture or if you upload one it should be a appropriate picture right so now we have to give a last name so maybe i will say o u s l and we have to select a date of birth so maybe i will say 2000 so that it won't complain i'm too young uh, we can select gender here if you want male female if you don't want to select the gender you can just leave it as other uh, it's up to you and you have to put a mobile number here which i will put in the mobile number and it's going to ask you to verify the mobile number so that's important uh, you have to do this so that then they can contact you either through the mobile or the email don't forget that companies may want to contact you on the mobile as well right so you must put in a mobile number here that you are going to use that's very important don't put a number here somebody calls and it's nobody is ever answering they will get sick of this right so please make sure that you put the appropriate number here if your number changes come back and change the number here that is extremely important right and your nic number you can enter here so uh, it can be anything the email is already filled and we are going to verify the number now oops oh i'm sorry this number my number is already there i will have to use another number then you get an otp so you have to use the otp here put the otp here and verify so now this is verified you have to select a district let us for the moment select colombo and your postal address so i can put the address i just put some address and we can go to next right then uh, they want you to select a secondary school level so obviously you have to say here i am an undergraduate all of you are now undergraduates because you are enrolled in a degree program you can select your stream of study you can select anything let us say commerce are you currently pursuing higher education yes then this is very important you have to select your institution uh, even if you are doing some other program if you want us to keep track of you you have to select the open universities under t as we found that day here we want you to put your s number right and enter your s number in the standard way uh, you can use uh, capital s or simple s do not leave a space and we will enter some s number right uh, this is not relevant to us we are not giving you an invitation code so you don't have to worry it's optional then you say i am join future careers bridge because and you can click on any of these things so if you click i am only interested in studying 
then your profile will not be visible to companies for recruitment. You can come and change this later, right? If you are already looking for industry internship, you can put it here. For you, you are new students, unless you are really looking for an internship now because you are a new student, I would recommend that you click on this, right? So companies will uh, not uh, see your progress when they come looking for recruitment. Right? You will see the leaderboard is there for the future careers bridge to see and for other people to see, but companies won't see you. Okay? Later on, you can change this. Right? And so you can change it to one of these looking for an internship or you're looking for a different job. And they say we are not employed here, but put in the appropriate thing here. Next. And you can select the areas that you are interested in. So we will just select three areas. Uh, it doesn't matter. You select the most important three. Obviously, you should select fundamentals first. Right? And we are now complete. So that is the process of creating the account. And after that, uh, you can go to any of these uh, tracks and start looking at the challenges. Right? So the rest of it is up to you. If you have any questions about the challenges, for example, we'll go to the challenges here. Uh, you can ask it on the learning management system page that we have started. Uh, for each uh, group of challenges, there will be a discussion forum. We might also have separate discussion forums for each particular challenge. Find the correct place, ask your question, see what other students have already uh, answered and get moving with this challenges. Now, before I finish, please understand about the challenges. These are going to be visible to companies. So there is no need to finish them quickly. You must take your time and do something good. Good that you are ready to show the industry or anybody else. Right? So there is no hurry here. You may be looking for internships after one year. So you have a long time to do a proper job on these future careers, these challenges. It's not a race like that. Okay. So, and so for example, if you're going to create a video, create a really good video. If you later on think that is not good enough, you can put another submission, right? So that's fine. You can also submit later, but don't just write something just to finish the challenge. That's very important. If you are going to write uh, a blog, write something that's of interest to you that shows other people that you are interested in something. And also, of course, uh, it must show other people that you can write something reasonable in English. Okay. So there is no race here. Please take them one by one. Learn the skills required to do the challenge and uh, do them as you go. Our communication skills course, like I said, has all these fundamental challenges, but we are going to ask you to complete them over one whole academic year. That is about nine months. So you have plenty of time to do this slowly. If you want to do the easy ones now before you start the courses, you can go ahead, but please do a good job on them. Right? Don't just make something just to uh, say the system has accepted my submission. Right. Thank you very much.